So I'm still having issues with like being hot all the time. As you can hear, the air conditioner is on in the background. Uh, sorry, not sorry, it's hot in here right now. <laughs> It's Elle coming back for another bump day. So today I am officially 10 weeks and two days pregnant. Yes, I am cruising right along, feeling great. So this is just gonna be a quick little update for you guys, but this is gonna be all about week nine for me. So the biggest thing for week nine that I thought was really funny is I finally started feeling some morning sickness. Now, I thought if you didn't feel morning sickness, like through week seven and week eight, then it just wasn't gonna happen. And I had a little nausea here and there, as I think I mentioned to you guys. But week eight really, um, or week nine really, I started feeling kind of night sickness, which I have heard one other person talk about. I'm sure it's more common than one other person, but I just happened to like, you know, be watching their bump dates and they were talking about it too. So that's totally what I was feeling. I'm not sure if it's the bromocryptine that I've been taking for forever. It's my husband's theory. Um, but I do think that it has something to do with the pregnancy because I've been taking the bromocryptine for a very long time and haven't really had any problems with it. Um, that's the medicine I take for the hyperprolactinemia. There's videos about it. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, leave a comment down below and I'll make sure to link up videos describing what all that craziness is. But one of the side effects can be like dizziness and nausea. Um, but I don't think it's that because I've been taking it for a really long time, like months now and I definitely haven't had any issues from it recently so I think it's more the pregnancy than anything else um, <clears throat> it feels kind of like hormonal nausea to me uh, which is kind of what the like PMS I would feel it used to be like but it's not nearly as bad it's like little waves of nausea and it really can be fixed just by me drinking lots of water and sitting down and putting my feet up for a minute and eating lots of small meals now the other thing I did this week is I got this giant water bottle. So this water bottle is one liter and it's great because it really helps me keep track of how much water I'm drinking and I've been so incredibly thirsty that I need to have this around all the time because little water glasses were not cutting it. I would like chug them in five seconds and be constantly getting up to get more water so I, it was just so needed for me to just have a giant water bottle I carry everywhere with me and that has been awesome. Um, this was only $12 on Amazon and it's BPA free, Camelback, dishwasher safe, amazing. I love it, go get yourselves one. And it's such a pretty color. The only downside, it does not fit in regular cup holders because it is so massive. Uh, so I'm still having issues with like being hot all the time. As you can hear, the air conditioner is on in the background. Uh, sorry, not sorry, it's hot in here right now. <laughs> Uh, random heat wave and it's been really hot so yeah we are have the air conditioning cranking I'm kind of hot all the time I feel like I'm sweating at the drop of a hat um, definitely still having the oily hair issue uh, if I shower like every single day then it doesn't really build up very much but this is literally from like a day and a half ago I'm gonna do some exercising tonight and then go shower so but I figured I'd talk to you guys while I still had some natural lighting in the background so that's why I'm like this. Um, but anyways, uh, the bump is definitely showing. We had our maternity announcement pictures this week and they got some really cute pictures of my bump. So when I get a chance, I'll upload that for you guys so you can see the pictures, some of the pictures that we took to announce our pregnancy because we're going to officially announce it on like Facebook and everything like that um, when I'm 12 weeks pregnant. So we wanted to have all those pictures done so we could announce it kind of professionally. Um, we absolutely loved her. She was amazing, amazing, amazing. If you guys are in the Boston area, let me know because I will totally give you her information. She was an amazing photographer. She did awesome, awesome stuff. Got amazing pictures of us and I just think it was great. So, hold on, water break. Okay, so the biggest thing this week, like I mentioned, was the nausea, just little waves of nausea. Um, the other thing is my appetite hasn't been huge. I've kind of just been eating small meals here and there and everything still smells strongly and tastes strongly to me so unfortunately I feel like I've been eating a lot of like kids food <laughs> um, just because they don't have a lot of strong flavors like even strong flavors bother me my heartburn has been off of the charts as I mentioned before my husband thinks it's from the progesterone and I think I have to agree with him because this I'll talk more about in my 10 week update but just two days off the progesterone because I stopped at 10 weeks 
two days off the progesterone, my heartburn is already so much better. So I definitely think that was part of it. Um, so I've been avoiding things like tomatoes, black pepper, garlic, coffee, all that stuff is supposed to be triggers for heartburn. And then with my food allergies and kind of aversions, it's been really hard to find healthy food for me to eat. So tonight I actually went out to like the local grocery store and I got myself a really small piece of like the really expensive wild caught salmon and I got some sweet potatoes. So I can kind of make shift myself a little dinner that's a little bit healthier than what I've been eating, which has been a lot of like mac and cheese and potstickers and pierogies and uh, just, you know, kind of like very bland foods, a lot of like um, sun butter toast and like bagels and things that I know are not super healthy for you, but just the things I can like stomach and it don't make me nauseous or give me heartburn. So that's been quite a struggle, um, but I'm getting through it and I'm excited to try my salmon tonight. So that's good. So I've definitely been having more of those stretching pains, as people call them round ligament pain. I feel kind of bad calling it pain though because it's noticeable but it doesn't really hurt very much. It's just kind of like intense stretching sensation but it's, it's really not that bad. It's really not. If anything it's good because it only happens when I'm like sitting for a long period of time or like hunched over in bad posture or something like that. I've noticed if I sit on, I have this cool thing, um, I think it's called the birth bump or birth ball or so there's like a brand name for it I got this really cool exercise ball that is made for pregnant women a lot of exercise balls say like do not use if you're pregnant which I find hilarious um, it should be still safe to use within reason but the, this particular ball again if you guys are curious comment down below and I'll make sure to leave a link um, but just let me know if you're curious so this cool ball um, it has like feet on the bottom and so when you stand up, it doesn't like roll away. And like if you're sitting funny, it doesn't like roll out from under you. So that's really great. It's supposed to be, it's made more for pregnant women so that it kind of supports them better and doesn't, you know, roll away from them and everything. The other thing that was really exciting this week is I got a big haul of maternity clothes and I will make a video. Um, I will edit the video that I made talking all about that. And I'll let you guys know when that goes up. <laughs> um, but so I had a great haul of maternity clothes, which has been really fun. The bump is definitely pronounced enough uh, that it's obvious that I'm pregnant. <laughs> Even though I'm still pretty early, it still feels like it's pretty obvious to me. <laughs> um, let's see what else is happening. So I've been having kind of the spins happen. So sometimes when I'm lying in bed with my eyes closed trying to go to bed, it'll just kind of feel like the room's spinning a little bit. <laughs> and so that's been uncomfortable. Weird pregnancy symptom that's been happening, but Again, I just chalk it up to being pregnant and all that extra blood supply cooking around and being weird. Um, the other thing is, I think I mentioned this before, we have varicose veins that run in our family and my feet have already started getting really, really sore even if I'm just standing for more than like 15 minutes at a time. So when I see my midwife, which will be in two weeks, I'm going to ask her about that and see if she can get me a prescription for compression stockings. I already have some over-the-counter compression stockings, but as a nurse I know that they make prescription compression stockings and they're a little bit better quality and sometimes insurance will partially cover it and they're very expensive. So, and you can like be specially measured for them and everything. So I'm going to ask about that. Um, if, if that's an available thing to me, I think that would be great. They're uncomfortable, but they really do help prevent like foot pain and stuff like that and varicose veins while you're pregnant. Let's see what else. Oh, the other big milestone I've hit is I have to pee so much more. Uh, at the beginning of my pregnancy, the hormones definitely made me have to pee more frequently. But this is a whole nother level that just happened this week where I literally get up at least twice during the night to pee. And I'm one of those people that does have insomnia here and there, or did before I was pregnant. Now I don't have as much trouble. Um, but it's like once I'm in bed and asleep, very little can wake me up. I'm a very deep sleeper once I'm actually out. and it's so funny because nothing's actually waking me up except for my bladder. I'm literally just waking up and like, oh, I have to pee. And sometimes I'll even like try to get myself back to sleep because I don't want to get up. And then I'm like, no, it just isn't working. So getting up several times to pee during the night already. And I just expect that to continue. Um, but lucky for me, I can just go pee and come back to bed and usually go back to sleep right away. And it hasn't been an issue. Um, but I think that's just also because I'm drinking so much more water than usual. Uh, and again, just the hormones. And I think that my uterus is growing and just kind of putting a little bit of pressure on the bladder. So, um, But that's all of my symptoms for now. That is officially my nine-week bump date. I will show you guys the bump. 
So, whoop, can't see much like that. So this is actually not a maternity shirt at all. I just got this shirt on sale in like the next size up. So, not the most flattering, but it was on sale. So this is the bump. I don't know how much you guys can actually see, but, and I'll just show you with my tank top. Up. So, that's the bump. It's like cut off by my skirt. So that's the bump. And then from the side. So, I also noticed that my face definitely feels fuller and bigger and like during our maternity or pregnancy announcement pictures I noticed that like that is definitely getting some double chin action here and there from where I was like looking. So that wasn't super fun. But uh, and I haven't gained any more weight the last two weeks, but through IVF I started at 154 and then I weighed myself at eight and a half, no, seven and a half weeks, so before IVF, I was 154, and then at seven and a half weeks, I was 163, and I haven't gained any more weight since the 163. So that's definitely the biggest I've ever been in my entire life, but I know the rough average is roughly a pound a week for people, so I'm not super concerned. Um, I'm still not at a pound a week. That's, you know, I'm supposed to be a little less than a pound a week, especially in the first trimester, so not super concerned about weight gain or anything, just kind of, like I said, small appetite, eating smaller, healthy meals, but. That's it for now, guys, and if you like, subscribe. Bye!